Now to a story that is destined to go viral. A woman learns about an Army veteran living in a tool shed, and she made it her mission to find him a place to live and set him on a path for a better life. Our Roseanne Aragon live with the story in East Houston tonight. And row at five, you were at the man's former home. Now you've moved to show us his new home. That's right. If anything is highlighted from the story, I think it's hope and humanity. And this is why this man always told me to have faith. And now he's saying this is why this is the new RV that was donated because of the generosity of others. But this all started because he wanted help for his dogs. Whoever thought this 71 year old veteran Elwin Rogers my, my daddy. My, my daddy. would cross paths with someone he calls his angel. He's a good friend of yours now. Now he's a good friend for life. An unlikely friendship that started with these dogs, ones that Rogers was so desperate to save. This woman saw his need and posted for help on social media. I have faith that is good people out there like mm -hmm. these princes. But in helping the dogs, Princess Polito found out where Rogers lived, this tool shed, no bigger than a closet. What was your reaction when you got your first glance at that? I wanted to throw up. It's, in, it's infested with flies and bugs and roaches, and he barely fits in there. Puppy would sleep on that end, right there, and, and, and skin and now sleep in the middle. Polito then turned to the community for help. The response, God sent. We're able to get him an RV, a land where he can keep his dogs. Churches are wanting to bring him groceries. Wow. Keeping some precious items. You got your Bible? And Godfather. He's preparing to move into his new RV. Oh, it's going to feel good. If, uh, I, I'm going to appreciate it. And he says it's his angels that keep him moving forward. She was sent. She just didn't know that. I just want to make sure that he's healthy and has a, a better life and that he's not suffering. And we're joining you now from inside his new home. Take a look at this. He says he's going to love it. And he says the community is taking good care of him. Reporting live from East Houston, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Uh, our hearts are full tonight, Roseanne. How did he find the strength to go on during that rough time? <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing. He definitely depends on his faith. All of the things he was telling me had to do with God and he, him reciting verses and him saying that really if you depend on God, then everything will be taken care of. And I can't say he isn't right. So I can't say he isn't wrong. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Amen to that, Roseanne. Thank you. Great story.